have flown. I have sailed. I have moved about this world of ours. And ever in search of the finest of its kind, we bring you the top in pine killers. <laughs> Creaking door. The manufacturers of State Express 3 5 Filter King cigarettes take pleasure in presenting The Creaking Door. Yeah. I 
No, I ain't all crumpled up on the floor. Oh, her face, now. Boy, I'm never going to get her face. What, what's wrong with it? Her eyes were open. All glassy like me. Her teeth were bare like a dead head. Oh, you've got quite a way with words, Martin. What's the fascinating picture you've just come about? Not the lady, no, no. It was as if... As if... You were looking at the young painting. That one, over the fireplace? Aye. Who is that? Why, I came in his lordship. Who is he? He was a baron. The first baron Jeffrey. Chief Justice of the King's Bank. Oh. Just Jeffrey was a bloody appraiser. Mm. Look at those eyes. Grey and murky. Lips pinched tight. The mouth of cool slits. Oh, I've never seen such an evil face in all my life. He was a devil in time, Mr. This is very strange, so you must try to hear it which way. Did he die here? No, but you were captured by the air. He died in the tower. The tower of London. Are you making this up, Patrick? No, Mr. It's a far past in the body in the village. Do you say you found my aunt lying here, dead, her eyes to a better picture? I. She died of fright. Johnson! That's it, Johnson. Oh, who are you? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Did I give you a fight? I'm Dr. Steele, Clive Steele. I attended your aunt. Oh, how do you do? How do you do, Miss Garfield? Oh, your aunt spoke of you and described you many times, so I feel I know you quite well. I couldn't help overhearing your conversation just now. The door was open, so I walked in. I, I hope you don't mind. No, not at all. I called to see if there was anything I could do, anything at all to make you feel you're a comfortable one. Well, that's very kind of you, Dr. Steele, but I've only just set foot in the face. I haven't really got my bearings yet. Oh, I still my visit to read it further to you. Oh, but it was very thoughtful and very kind of you. Oh, not at all. If I can be of any service whatsoever. Thank you. I'll certainly bear that in mind. Then I'm surprised that you, Patrick, telling Miss Garfield your silly stories. Oh, can be. What well, I But I stand her in I now. Your mistress died of a heart condition. I was speaking her complaint for years. So let's have no more talk of good. Oh. What's that? Anybody have? Who is it? Oh, good morning. May I come in? Oh, good morning. Uh, the name's Bell. Anthony Bell. Uh, here's my card. Investigator. Uh, the Psychical Research Association. Uh, yes, we're doing this, Mr. Strick. This old house has quite a history. Do I take it that you're interested in laying ghosts? Uh, you take it correct, Miss Garfield. How did you know my name, Mr. Bell? Uh, oh, all over the village they say that uh, Miss Garfield has come to take up residence. I see. Well, I think I'd better tell you right away that I don't believe in ghosts or the supernatural. <laughs> oh, they all say that. Mr. Bell, I think it's clear that Miss Garfield is not interested in the services that she has to offer. Oh, what? Oh, dear, what a shame. Well, you never know. What do you mean by that? You haven't stayed here overnight, have you? No, not yet. Are you staying here tonight? I am. Well, you can always get me at the Gate and Compass, pub down the village. Thank you, Mr. Bell, but I don't think it'll be necessary. Well, uh, I'll be off then. Just thought I'd pop in, make myself known. Sorry to have got with you. Bye. Good day to you, Mr. Bell. What an odd young man. Oh, he's been around these parts for nine and four months. Oh. Well, I think I'll be off too. If you do need anything, Miss Garfield, you'll find my telephone number in the directory. It was grand meeting you, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you, Dr. Stewart. You've been very kind. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm just about making up a Oh, 
บางเป้า
Oh, there's nothing supernatural about this. Look. Take away your hands from your eyes. Ben, I didn't look. This hangman's noose has got plenty of substance. The common or garden roof. And it didn't get there by itself. It is. What? What do you mean? Well, my job is to delve into psychic phenomena. Something phenomenal about this, other than the fact that somebody has tied one end of a rope to the rafter and the other end with its noose and out a stream of firelight. Oh, my God. I nearly died this time. What's going on here? Oh, boy, if you miss your eye, I've been so worried for you. Oh, he's a bit late to be visiting, Mr. Bell, isn't he? What's that rope doing hanging up there? Don't you know? Me? Why should I know about the rope? You told me that, that my aunt died of fright. Aye, it's true. What's this about Miss Garfield's aunt dying of fright? She did. I found her. I saw her face. It's a prisoner. I don't know what it was that she saw, but it must have been evil. And... The supernatural is not necessarily evil, Mr. Parsons. But that rope is not supernatural. Somebody wanted to frighten you, Miss Garfield. Oh. Can you think of anyone wanting to scare you out of your wits? Things are supernatural. Need no reason. I tell you, there's nothing supernatural about that rope. He used the rope. Just get reached it. Oh. After this, there'll be something new. There'll be no stopping it. Don't stay in the house, Miss Garfield. There'll be evil here. Well, I'm... I'm going. It's so nice to you. Do you trust him? I... I've no reason not to. Why do I? Because that rep was put there by some human agency. Why, but he... He's been in the family for years. He's eight years. He's a baby. Why should he want to help me? No, what? Uh... <laughs> Creeping up on me like that. Oh, it's not creeping, you stupid old man. <laughs> Your shadow, it, it looks so ghost-like. And I hope it if I threw a shadow on the past, it's a moonlit night. What on earth is Late for you, be paying his visit? I don't wish to be rude, Mr. Bell, but what about you? Well, you were present when Miss Garfield gave me permission. But why have you come, Doctor? My grounds are joining me. It occurred to me that Miss Garfield might need a sedative after her nasty experience. Oh, I thought I heard your voice, Doctor. I'm afraid to come out of her. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, sorry, Missy. My nerves is all shut to pieces. I, I won't bother you again tonight. Look, why don't you go to the goat and compass with Garfield and let me stay here with my equipment? I'll get it from the car. So you think this house is haunted? Well, I don't know. It's regarded as a home for restless spirits. Restless? <laughs> all the people that judge Jeffrey's bumped off. <laughs> yeah. Do you mind if I close the door? It's getting a bit silly. Hey. Hey, I'd like that. Oh, God. Let's go and sit by the fire. He must have been. You know, during the bloody assizes, he confiscated his victim's property and possessions. Well, the confiscation was done in the name of the crown. But historians have reason to believe that he snuffled quite a tidy sum for himself. After the Second Rebellion in 1688, when he was all set to flee to France, he was caught here. But he didn't have a penny with him. Well, I suppose he had it stashed away somewhere. Well, if he did, it's never been found. And it's reasonable to suppose that, as it was his intention to flee to the continent, they wouldn't go empty-handed. Ah, as you all say, that he would have had the money here, here with him. Well, it's an interesting thought, is it not? Oh, I suppose it is. But my interest is in the supernatural. Oh. oh what, what, what's the matter? Have you heard something? I must get up my equipment. Equipment? Oh, we can't carry out psychic research without any equipment. You know, recording machines, trip wires, that sort of thing. Yes. Well, why did you shiver, Miss Garfield? Oh, it was a sort of that rope. Is it still tight to the rafters? Yes, it, it must be. Hmm. Yeah, I'm beginning to feel a bit uneasy myself. What an utter lonely bachelor I'd suggest to spend the night at my place. You know what happened to your aunt. Papa says she died of fun. Hartridge has a vivid imagination. She had a weak heart, poor lady. I understand the weakness is part of the family. I don't think you should stay here. Forgive me saying this, Miss Garfield, but the color of your feet. You have a heart condition too, have you know? Yes, uh, my mother died of heart failure. 
nobody knows this, Doctor. So I was trying to take advantage. Someone trying to frighten me to death. Good heavens, it's midnight. Well, that's settled it. I can't believe I'll go to the dirty compass. You can see at my place for the night. <laughs> and what do the villagers think? A midnight sister, a midnight bachelor. <laughs> I think that's the first time I'm asked to buy a ride. Well, couldn't we both stay here tonight, Doctor? Keep Miss Garfield company? I mean, you know, stay here as guests. No, hey, I'd be quite happy to. If it's all right with you, Miss Garfield. Well, I'd better get my equipment out of the car. Well, I'll nip next door and get a toothbrush and things. Well, two o'clock in the morning. Oh, I want this to bed and sleep. and help you to see. Oh, yeah. There'll be evil spirits aboard this night. All right, Padres, relax. Who are you really, Mr. Bell? What do you mean? I thought there was something phony about you, spending all these weeks in the village. There's no such thing as a National Psychic Research Association. So you found that out, did you? No, but I have now. I should have you up for attempted murder. How did you know about Miss Garfield's weak heart? I don't know what you're talking about. I know things do be getting to my sense, Doctor. Miss Garfield did say as I'll ask the earth for a lifetime. But on her death, it goes to her next room. Room she's never seen. Are you her nephew? Yes. But neither of you will be able to prove anything, will you? Good night. Oh, yes. He fell over his own trip wire. Good heavens. I am afraid to. Look at that skull. No, it was me, the skull that told him. Hey, of course. What do you say, Doctor? The family weakness. This young man has died of heart failure. Oh, Doctor, what's that? Oh, yeah. Some, some creaking footsteps. Thank you. 
The taste that has made Queen Pies the king size cigarette of international success. Get Queen Pies. Get the taste. Just a reminder of our rendezvous next week. Where are we going? Through the kitchen door. Of course. <laughs> the manufacturers of State Express 3-5 Filter King Cigarettes invite you to listen next Saturday at 9 o'clock when they will again present... Creaking door. Spooky Ventures is the home for spooky content and spooky merchandise on the web. Check it out today at SpookyVentures.com. And remember, always keep it spooky.